the thing that I want to discuss is actually the Black Magic app camera. And it has a, it has a fatal flaw. Ooh, that's good. I'm turning into a YouTuber. Yo, what's up? Let's talk about the Black Magic camera app. So I just picked up the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I was so excited to start shooting with the Black Magic app because I want those manual controls. Manual controls are extremely important to me because I want to know the image I'm capturing and I don't want anything to get in the way of that. So I opened up the Black Magic camera. What I started seeing very quickly is that I'm flipping my highlights. My highlights are gone on the screen. The monitor is telling me that I am so overexposed, I have screwed up something royally. So, okay, let me just stop down. Let me lower my ISO. Let me lower my shutter. And so I bring it back and I import the footage. Everything is dark, like dark, dark, and almost unusable when I try to pull that footage back up to a proper exposure. So what's going on? I have worked with Log for many years and I and I know how to expose it to properly deliver a properly exposed image. So what's going on here? Well, I think there's a mismatch going on. So the iPhone is Rec 2020 HLG 1000 nit spec. That's what it has on its marketing materials in the tech specs on apple.com. And I'm trying to monitor Rec 709 Gamma 2 4 but it's not translating to the screen. So you're getting a little bit of a weird signal crossover. I don't, I don't know how to explain that, but it's creating a gamma mismatch that's really messing up monitoring. So what I did was I tested a bunch of different levels of viewing LUTs that drop exposure by a series of half a stop, stop, stop and a half. And what I have found is that stop and a half drop and exposure for your viewing LUT is pretty much perfect. You are not going to be losing any shadow detail. And if highlights start to look like they're clipping and being lost, they are, but it, but in, but they actually are not just <laughs> a mismatch in gamma. I would say download this LUT and install it into your uh, folder. Then I would, Expose using um, false color with the LUT on. So when the LUT's on, use that to expose skin tones and wherever you want your main subjects to be. Um, I found this to be the most consistent results. Everything looks normal in the in the on the screen, and everything turns out perfectly fine in post. You know, this Black Magic app, this camera, this workflow. They are all in their infancy. So uh, what I expect to see is that everything will be, be ironed out quickly. So I know a lot of other people are excited to use the Blackmagic app. I went ahead and made this available. There's a link for it in the description. It's free. Go get it. If you like it, like and subscribe. That's all I ask.